Hey guys, it is now Saturday, which is the day of my follow-up appointment. So I'm going to try to take you with me. I hope I remember. I hope I have opportunities to grab at least a few shots here and there. We'll kind of see how it goes. I don't want to like do it too much because again, it's kind of weird in the hospital, but I'll do what I can. Um, anyway, right now I'm just writing out a few things on Notion in my journal, so to speak, about fitness and my goals and ch kind of changing my mindset um, about where it's been to where it's going to be um, and focusing on recovery because now I don't really know yet at this point what I will need to do to recover from this knee injury, how long it's going to take. I don't really want to think about that. So far, it's literally just been like I have been thinking about getting through this week and then going back and getting more answers from the doctor. So that's kind of what I've been working towards so far. So after today, I should hopefully have more clarity and kind of be able to plan it out better, like see like what's going on kind of thing. I hope. Um, yeah, anyway, so I'm kind of focused on recovery from that and also just recovering from the past couple years with mental health stuff and COVID and all the stuff that's been going on in my life. There's just a lot of stuff that I've been working on. I just want to truly focus on health again. Like, yes, that was my focus before. Um, but I think I also got really caught up in physical results and all of that, um, which is not helpful. So Man, I'm getting really hungry. King is currently going to grab some bacon, hopefully, from Seven so he can make me breakfast and coffee, which is good. So I'm going to get back to writing now. Hey, guys. So I just put on pants. I have not been wearing pants because there's no point. <laughs> um, in about half an hour, we we're headed to the hospital. Kind of nervous, just to be honest, because I, I have no idea what he's going to say. I don't know what going to happen. I'm praying for good news. I'm praying that I won't have to wear this splint anymore and it'll be a little bit easier to move around. Um, we'll just have to see. Obviously it's not like healed, <laughs> um, but I am hoping that I'll be, I don't know, I'm hoping I'll get some good news. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Um, but I'm going to try to get as much as I can, as much footage as I can while I'm there. But yeah, it might be kind of hard. I might like forget. It might be busy. <laughs> um might be in pain <laughs> we're gonna have to see i'm guessing he's gonna kind of just like look around and my leg and probably move it a bit which is gonna be painful as crap but <sighs> yeah we'll just have to see what happens today Bottom part hurts, yeah, yeah. Like under. Maybe. Okay, and when I, and when I apply the stress test like this, oh, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> Your recommend here is torn. 
เห็นไหมถ้าเราไปย่องขานะตรงนี้มันจะแอบตะเกียหรือที่เอามือวางเราเนี่ยเวลาทุกคนมาทำให้ดูอ่ะเราเอามือวางเลยครับอันนี้ยังนะครับอันนี้มันสุดสุดแล้วเห็นไหมเห็นไหมเอ็นค่อยนิชิตนะครับแล้วผมว่าน่าจะมีเอ็นค่อยหน้าขาดด้วยไอ้ที่เดิมดิสติกมันมีออเดมีเดียวโคแลตโตวิตามินอออินเดเทอร์เอ็มซีเอลโอเคแอนด์ดิแอนด์คูเนคูซีเอ็ดวิตามินอีสคอมช่วย so sorry I kind of stopped filming because I don't know it's weird and I was asking questions so he still thinks I might have torn several ligaments in my knee so we're taking an MRI later it's still only it's not even two yet right Uh, so we're stuck here for a bit. Yeah, so he thinks that the ACL, MCL is the other one, right? MCL is the main one. Right M- MCL now. and ACL. ACL possibly. possibly, because usually when they tear, they tear in pairs, is what he says. And then he's more worried about the meniscus. Yeah, so the MCL probably. <laughs> ACL maybe, and he's unsure about the meniscus until I get the MRI. So he said recovery time is a long time, which I knew. Like I've heard about ACL recovery, and that takes forever. Um, I'm not as familiar with the other ones, um, so I might not get to play again for like a year, which sucks. <laughs> Not a good day. I didn't notice that these were like back here. How was it like holding on? Hold on. It's hard to see directly behind me. <laughs> Alright, so it's now like 3 14. We still have like 45 minutes until I can do the MRI. Sorry, there's a TV literally directly above me, so it's probably loud, but. Um, so just waiting. Um, the coffee here is good though, so that's a plus. And got some chocolate, which is great. Um, sorry I didn't film the whole thing when the doctor was in there. I felt kind of weird <laughs> doing that and I was asking questions. So I will probably debrief a little bit more when, it's at, when I'm at home, when it's quieter. Um, yeah, so I'll probably do that. Uh, apparently, I might not know the MRI results until next week. I'm not really sure. That's kind of weird to me, but I don't know how it works, so we'll see. Um, so if I don't, I'm not going to have an answer right now, but we're at least going to get the MRI done and then kind of see. I don't even know if they can tell us anything for like another week, which I was really hoping to get some definitive answers today, so we'll see. What's up guys, it is now Sunday and we are at Macro, which is a grocery store. Um, we're gonna see how this goes. I don't really know. I probably can't film much. I'm hoping there's a wheelchair or something because I don't really know how it's gonna go. Is there a handicap parking? But, um, oh, that would be a good idea. There should be, hopefully. It's up here. Yeah, you might just have to talk to them. Okay, that would be nice. 
I need more space to get out and stuff as well. Anyway, we are gonna grab groceries for the week. We're gonna, just gonna do the best that we can. I would really like to focus in on my nutrition um, and see what I can do this next week. Um, yeah, so actually yesterday I meant to debrief after the MRI stuff happened possibly in the car or at home or something, but I needed the time to be with King and just like do my own thing without filming it. So I will at one point debrief what happened yesterday at the hospital since I kind of stopped filming super suddenly. So we're gonna grab some groceries though, hopefully, and see here. because there's not space for me to get around back here. So I'm just chilling while he does a few things. We're in the vegetable section, that's veggie and fruit. And we're getting what we can. Rocket or arugula is extremely hard to find here, which is annoying, but doing what we can. Well, if nothing else, uh, wheeling myself around in this wheelchair. I can't really see much of it. It's really good for my upper body, which is great. I need to build back my strength. Um, this is really annoying because this wheelchair doesn't have a the thing where you can like prop up your leg. This is not working anymore. My leg keeps falling off how I have it propped up. Um, anyway, feeling myself around this place. It's really good for my upper body, which is great, and definitely feeling at my shoulders. I need to build back up my strength, so maybe just doing this will be my exercise, and maybe this is how I'll get back on track. I don't know. Yeah, that's how I have my foot propped up. It's not really working very well. Uh, but it's better than just like it hanging in there because then it just hurts my hip like crap because my hip is like holding up everything basically, which is not a lot of fun. So we're almost done. We only have a few more items to grab. King is looking for a heating pad now, I think, to try to get some heat on my knee and see if that helps swelling and stuff because my friend who is a doctor suggested that. So he's doing that right now. And then we'll be out of here. So it hasn't been too bad. I'm just so thankful that they have a wheelchair. I'm actually not bad at it. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I've ever really tried doing it, but it's pretty good at it. I will say. <laughs> so we're almost done. It's great. I will try to debrief just later, probably in bed, because that's the easiest place for me to vlog right now. I know it's boring, but it is what it is. Yeah, so I went to go get milk, and that is how I'm carrying it back. <laughs> so I gotta try to put it in the cart. I went and got it by myself. I just carried it in my purse because that's all I have right now. <laughs> I wish it was uh, easier to film while I'm actually doing stuff. I legitimately just parallel parked myself in this wheelchair. Pretty proud of myself. I'm not gonna lie. I literally went up even to the cart that's in front of me here, and then I literally reversed and turned. <laughs> and literally parallel parked myself. <laughs> Talent, I, you know what? Finding fun in, in this. <laughs> All right, so I'm now in the car. King is grabbing us drinks before we get home real quick. It's hot, so hopefully it's fast. Yeah, so that was my first experience being broken, grocery shopping. So it kind of worked um, with the wheelchair. Like it is what it is, but like, it worked. Um, a lot of people were nice and like let me through and stuff. Some people were completely oblivious and were just like in the way and walking super slow and like moseying around. I was like, hello, <laughs> can you move please? But anyway, it worked. So my, after I let everything sink in yesterday, my plan is that I need to learn how to live with this and I need to try to do everything that I can to be able to recover. And that's gonna look different week to week. I'm planning on vlogging like all of it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess I should talk about yesterday a bit. I probably won't get it finished while I'm sitting here, but kind of just wanna start while I'm here, I guess. So I don't even remember where I left off 
filming. I know I filmed some stuff when I was in the wheelchair waiting to go to the MRI. Um, I was so emotional and I know I didn't really like show that. Like I, I couldn't bring myself to film. I thought about it, but I couldn't bring myself to film because for most of it, like, cause I cried off and on for a few hours. One of the major reasons for why I was doing that, I cannot talk about. Um, it's related to my injury, but not in the way that you might think. So, uh, yeah, I was really upset about something else that happened with that. Um, and then obviously I was just disappointed. Like I, I was starting to feel better and I was really, really hoping for good news. I was really hoping that, you know, things would start looking better and I would have a more definitive answer of what happened for real. And um, can I recover it? Like how I can get better, how I can get back on my feet as soon as possible. Um, and that did not happen. Um, I think I kind of explained to you yesterday, but quick recap, doctor thinks the MCL is torn for sure. He's not sure about the ACL, but apparently they're usually torn in pairs. I don't know that much about this stuff. So I don't take any of this as like knowledge. I just know what I've been told and maybe like my interpretation of it. So, um, and he's also unsure about the meniscus because I think, yeah, again, I don't know very much, so don't take anything that I say um, as truth. But the like bottom part of my knee hurts a lot and I think that's where the meniscus is. I don't know. Um, so the MRI obviously is what we did in order to see what's going on more. Um, but I do, do not know those results and I will not know, I think, until next week because we have another appointment on next Saturday to go over the results. And I'm assuming then I should get more of a clear action plan. Yay, thank you. Action plan of what's going to happen after that. So um, I'm going to now lemon soda and uh, we're going to head home and I'll finish this really fast. just accepted that I'm gonna look like crap in all of these videos and it's just gonna have to be what it is um, so I cannot tell you why I was crying earlier in the previous clips um, there's just a lot of stuff and I'm feeling very emotional right now so <laughs> I'm just gonna have to leave it at that because I cannot go too far into detail about all of that right now or probably ever online um, but anyway, I wanted to finish my little chat about what happened yesterday really quickly and then I'm going to watch TV and do nothing because I need to do nothing <laughs> right now. <laughs> like I literally do. Um, anyway, so yesterday I got the MRI and it was a horrible experience. <laughs> Um, so I had to wait a couple hours, which was fine. Like King and I just hung out and then he got his drinks and like my, le my leg was actually feeling pretty good this whole time. Um, and then they had me in a wheelchair with like the um, part that s kicks up so that my leg can stay on the, stay supported basically. So my leg felt fine. Um, my ankle started feeling a little bit annoyed when I was in the wheelchair for like over an hour. Um, I was there in total, maybe like almost two hours, I think in the wheelchair, but just sitting there waiting. Um, but yeah, I think just because it was in the same position and stuff. So my ankle just started feeling a bit uncomfortable, but it wasn't too bad. And my leg felt fine the whole time. And then they finally took us to the place where I had to wait for a little bit longer. <laughs> they had me, finally some people came 
two nurses, I think, came and they had me switch over to another wheelchair. And then they like brought me to the MRI thing machine. Let me story time. Let me tell you what happened. I wish I could have like filmed this. Obviously I didn't have my phone with me because I couldn't have anything with me. So when we were actually going into the room, there's only one girl who was pushing me and she was the only one there. So we went into the room and then she had to like lay down some things on the gurney, I guess. Um, and get the pillow situated and stuff. And then she asked me to lie on it. So I did. Mind you, this whole time, they didn't help me do anything. Like, my leg is in a freaking splint. I can't really move it. Yeah, I can't really move it. And um, they made it, like, I didn't have my crutches with me. They, like, took them. <laughs> Uh, or they left them with King or something. I don't even remember. I think King had them. Um, but they didn't, like, take them with us or anything. I was like, okay, whatever. Um, and they always made it so that I had to at le do at least one hop on my own between the wheelchair and the bed gurney thing. Which they didn't help me at all. They didn't help me with my foot, with my leg, literally anything. So I had to, like lift my leg all the way up to the gurney, which was pretty tall, uh, by myself. <laughs> and then, so I was laying there for a little bit and then another girl comes in and they start talking and then the other girl brings a plastic chair over and asks me to sit in it because they needed to rearrange some things on the bed or something. So I do. And again, they don't help me with my leg. Like, I, I pick it up myself. I swing it over. And then I, like, stand up and do, like, a hop, turn around, and try to, like, sit in the chair. And then <laughs> they were, like, doing stuff in the room, putting stuff on the bed, the gurney thing, whatever. I don't really know what they call it, so whatever. Okay, I don't know Ty, but... I do know enough. Um, they were literally arguing about what side of the gurney to put the pillow on. Um, the one girl, the first girl, I think, who was in there, um, wanted to put the pillow by the MRI machine and then swing the gurney around, like just so that eventually my head would be on the other side, but. They, they wanted me, I don't, the stupidity is real. I'm serious. Like, I swear, okay, the doctor's really good. I don't know if I've said that. I might have. I like him. He's great. English is really good. He's really good at explaining things. He's really confident. He's really calming. Um, he answers questions. He always stops and asks a couple times if I have any questions. Um, he doesn't rush anything. He, like, he reassures me. <laughs> like, just, he understands and... Um, he asked me questions to see how, like, how I'm feeling, what, how into sports I am, all of that kind of stuff. So he's great. Literally everyone else, they're horrible. Like I f swear they've never been to a hospital before, much less worked at one. <sighs> There's so many things. I, I know this has been long and I'm sorry, but anyway, so eventually the MRI thing, I get on the table. Um, I should have asked how long it was going to take because I didn't and it was way longer than I expected. Um, then my leg started hurting like from all the way from my toes to my hip. Um, a decent while after it had started, but I still had a very, very, very long time to go. Um, so that was painful and of course I couldn't move and then... Well, she finally came in and told me that I had moved too much in the last one. And I'm like, dude, I, my leg fucking hurts right now. Um, like, I am in so much pain right now. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, I got through it. I honestly did not think I was going to. The last little bit, um, the girl was like five minutes left. I think it was definitely more than five minutes left, but... That gave me some hope and I pushed through to the end. I legitimately, like I was in a lot of pain and 
it was just not a good situation. Like, the whole thing. Like, I didn't trust them. I didn't... It was just a whole thing. <laughs> anyway, this has been such a long clip. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I just kind of want to, like, wanted to debrief about yesterday a bit. And there's more stuff going on than that. But, like I said, I can't... I'm not going to talk about that. I can't talk about it. So, um, that's where I'm at at the moment. It is Sunday afternoon. I think it's, like, 12-something now. Um, we did get food for the week, which is great. So I'm just going to have to figure out what that looks like as far as trying to cook and stuff. I'm probably just going to have to like sit down at the table and chop things. <laughs> and I don't know, I'm going to have to figure it out. But, um, one more thing that I really want to go into, I'm not going to go into it now. I know this has been such a long clip and I'm honestly exhausted and I just need to like do nothing. Oh, I hurt my hand. I want to talk more about nutrition and kind of my thoughts with nutrition, like where my head is at, where my head is at with my fitness journey right now. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that I definitely want to touch on. Um, in this vlog and the next vlog, we'll just kind of see how it goes. Sorry for literally talking for like nine minutes. Thanks for listening. That's the update for right now. I'm going to watch, <laughs> I've been watching, um, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I have nothing to do. So I've been watching High School Musical, the musical, the series. It's kind of stupid. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I've been watching that. I've been rewatching Once Upon a Time a little bit as well. I've been watching random stuff. <laughs> uh, last night, King and I watched Beauty and the Beast, and that was really fun because it had been a while. Um, and I really love that movie, actually. So I'm going to shut up. I'm going to go do something that does not involve thinking. <laughs> All right, I am trying some stuff, hopefully with the dumbbell, hopefully by just getting up and down, <laughs> uh, using my arms, obviously. I just want to try some stuff, see what's possible, and go from there. Um, I don't really know how to set this up. I would like to film it. Um, I might just try it out though today without filming much. I don't know. It's really hard to like set my camera up to film when I don't have a leg and I can't like get around. So, um, nothing here will work. Um, I'll need to do some thinking to figure out how I could set up, potentially set up my camera at another time. Um, but I'm going to see if I can do some arm stuff with that. Probably also stand up. It's basically a, an assisted pistol squat. <laughs> Um, and just practice doing that. I did get actually a very good workout, arm workout this morning with wheeling myself around in a wheelchair chair at um, all over the huge grocery store. So that was good. Actually, my arms are kind of tired, especially my triceps, um, because I've been using them a lot today. So I don't need to do anything crazy, but I would just like to see kind of what's possible right now. Um, and I will definitely film it for you guys, but not quite yet. <laughs> 